All right, we are live on location for Neri's Kitchen. Welcome, everybody. So we had polled the Fit Fam and we asked them, what was their biggest struggles when it came to losing weight? So we have three responses here. The first response is, I struggle getting my steps throughout the day. My goal is to get 10K. And I also snack lots because I'm working from home. What advice would you give me? Okay, well, I also work from home. I work for eight hours a day and all I do is sit. So what I like to do is, uh, I actually only have two designated breaks, one from 10 to 10.15 and the other from one to two. So what I like to do is I actually don't eat from 8.30 to 10 because I'm working, right? So my first break is when I get up, I make coffee, make some breakfast, stretch, walk around the house, put dishes away, do what you have to do in those 15 minutes. On my second break is lunch from one to two. What I like to do is, I actually don't eat lunch. I actually go walk down to my basement, try to do a virtual workout in or do any sort of activity for that one hour. And that's how I like to get my steps because again, after that break, I actually have to go back to work and sit down all day. And I actually do manage to get my steps, my 10,000 steps per day, and I don't actually have to actively try to get it. I just get it during my break. Um, also, with those designated times, um, I don't do any snacking, right? My snacking is breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that's it. So I try to stick to that window, and, and that's how I prevent my snacking and get my steps in. Awesome. So the second one we got is coming from Linda, and a lot of people actually have this problem where we'll do a challenge. So we'll do a belly burn challenge, and then right after a belly burn challenge, you know, we'll go out for breakfast. And then breakfast leads to some type of like big dinner, which leads to, hey, I'm just gonna start on Monday. So Sunday, I'm gonna eat cake, cookies, chocolate, ice cream. And then Monday rolls around and we try to track, but Tuesday rolls around and we stop tracking. And we're like, I'll just wait for the next challenge. Okay. So how do I stay consistent between challenges? Well, you just said it, you have to be consistent. So I, I think you have to understand why are you allowing yourself to have the fancy breakfast, lunch, or dinner, which leads to another day of you know fancy meals, more time with friends. And spending time with friends is great, but why are you allowing yourself to consume all of these extra calories? I think the whole point is just to be consistent. Stop making excuses because it makes it that much harder to get to your goals. So I know after a, a celebration, you just want to continue it because it makes you feel good, but you have to be consistent and stay on track the next day. Don't take your leftovers home. Don't take a, a takeaway container. You can have parties, but make sure that you plan ahead and, and remember what you're going to Awesome. So the third and final one, and I think a lot of moms struggle with the same problem, is we're often creating two meals. There's the meals that the kids eat, and then there's the meals that we eat. And so once we cook the kids' meals or the family meals, we often just say, you know what, I'm too tired. I don't want to cook for myself. So we end up just eating what they eat. So if they're having pizza, Chinese food, or whatever it is, chicken nuggets, they were eating the chicken nuggets, and we're just saying, I'm too tired. I can't focus on me. You know what? If the kids are eating pizza, chicken nuggets, french fries, let them eat it. Doesn't mean you need to eat it too. They are in control of what they put in their mouth and so are you. So I would say if you have to make two or three separate meals, just do it. Because you know, I do that too. And you just see what my kids eat. They eat the chicken, uh, the pizza, everything that I want to eat too, the mac and cheese. But I don't allow myself to cave because if I cave, I will be eating what they eat and I don't want to look like, I don't, it's not part of my goals, right? And I don't want to work out that much harder. So if you have to make two separate meals, make the two separate meals, don't allow yourself to cheat. So there we have it. We just overcame three <laughs> massive struggles that everybody has when it comes to losing weight. Thank you, Neri. Thank you, Neri's Kitchen. And we'll Thanks, see you. Guys. And we'll see you on the blue.